Most frontline troops today bear a variety of high-tech devices intended to improve organizational performance and health, and lethality in certain situations. Their interactive devices help them traverse new environments, communicate with people who speak various languages during a firefight, and monitor the enemy. So this is for example only. Modern technology helps humanity in many different ways. The truth is we might no longer be able to do certain things without the technology. Okay, we're not going to give a lesson today on how technology has changed the essence of military operations over the years, but in this article, we're going to show some of the best military technologies that only technology has rendered it possible. You can consider certain awesome devices previously unheard, because they are not so widely recognized. The video is for educational purposes only. Welcome to Tech Collective. Today we bring you the list of 10 most advanced military gadgets. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new content. Number 10 is Bodyguard Electro Gauntlet. Bodyguard Electro Gauntlet is basically a device for self-protection. It is embedded with a laser pointer, a video camera, and a 500,000 volt nasty teaser. It has a strong exterior shell which appears like a costume from Batman. This gadget was used in many international films such as Die Another Day by James Bond. Prompted by a number of cougar attacks on one of Orange County's favorite hiking trails, Dave Brown set about developing a device to protect himself from animal attacks that might be worn while riding a bike. He stumbled upon the concept of a hands-free stun tool and soon understood the need in law enforcement for such a non-lethal system. The result is the bodyguard which houses its various components under a plastic shell attached to a forearm sleeve and glove, which is high impact. The latest version of the Bodyguard 9X1-HD01 includes two taser spikes placed at the forearm, which are specifically built to serve as a warning by sparking violently and transmitting an arc of electricity to scare criminals, respectively. Activates the spikes by pulling a safety pin and pressing a button embedded in the bodyguard glove palm. Number 9 is PRISM 200C Backpack. If you're looking for a little surveillance and need a sneaky way to look through brick, block, wooden, or concrete walls, then the PRISM 200C Backpack Radar, then the PRISM 200C Backpack Radar could come in as a handy addition to your devices. Cambridge consultants developed the portable PRISM 200C radar device for use by law enforcement and military departments, and developed it for high-risk and hostile situations, with minimal time and very narrow margin of error. If there's nothing you can't see, you can't do anything about it. During hostage situations, special forces and the local police face different difficulties. Any mistake can cause an innocent person to die. A British firm has designed a sleek backpack-sized gadget that lets you see through walls to make it easy for the forces. While these types of machines aren't new, PRISM 200C was the first gadget small enough to be used by just one person. The PRISM can see through almost any material, whether it is wood or concrete brick, providing a more realistic view of a room's things. Number 8 is One Shot XG. Currently, sniper teams have to figure out with calculators a lot of their ballistic data. To keep it short, data includes range, temperature, and atmospheric pressure. More importantly, the velocity of the wind that moves perpendicular to the firing line must also be factored. Snipers have to use their instincts and experience to estimate wind direction or use time-consuming anemometers that lack precision over a few miles an hour of wind speeds. Range finders are used for distance measurement, but these may be imprecise. Many contemporary laser range finders emit a beam which the spotter can't see, making it difficult to tell if the beam is focused on the right spot. You have to carry the laser separately, adding weight. Current scopes often incorporate Stadia metric rangefinders into their reticules, but even these lose long distance accuracy. It is indeed a breathtaking maneuver to aim for and successfully engage a target thousands of meters away. There are many external factors such as wind speed, Coriolis force, terrain, etc. that can force the bullet to change its path. Even though how they control such factors is up to them, a little technological help can be handy. In 2013, DARPA announced the Advanced One-Shot XG program to significantly enhance the military sniper's effectiveness. The software revolves around a lightweight mountable scope device, which can be mounted either on its spotting scope or on the barrel of the pistol. The scope is designed to use an internal OS 
us to calculate automatically a number of decisive variables, such as wind conditions, alignment of weapons, etc. Number seven is Exacto. The Intense Precision Task Ordnance Program is a project developed by DARPA in which they create a series of smart and self-guided bullets that can adjust their predicted flight path to comply with the target's trajectory or any external influences that may push the bullet off track. It has advanced optical guidance systems in real time that allow you to track and direct bullets to their targets by adjusting to weather, wind, target movement, and other factors. Russia also announced in 2016 that they are still operating on a prototype smart weapon intended to reach targets up to 10 kilometers in range. Number six is the big dog. Whether or not it's a battle, soldiers often have to bear heavy weights along with them. Sure, the military is much more endurant than an ordinary man, but they are also human. In general, armored vehicles and other military specialist vehicles are used to carry these extra heavy weights. Earlier in 2005, DARPA and Boston Dynamics began collaborating on a project in which a computer-controlled system can perform the heavy military lifting, but due to its impracticality, the system was discontinued. It had a strong petrol engine with a fixed load capacity of 10 kilograms. It also had a fiber optic gyroscope and an IMU, which helps it to stand up to 45 degrees on difficult terrain. Number five is corner shot. Ha <laughs> ha, edges and edges. You have to hate those corners where you can fire your goal when playing those games on FPS, right? Well, the corner shot is a solution, but in the real world to just that problem. The corner shot has an integrated video camera which provides the front screen with a video feed which has proven to be very helpful to the soldier. The gun barrel will turn to fire targets at no more than 60 degrees. Number four is XSTAT, Rapid Hemostasis System. The Rapid Hemostasis System, or XSTAT, is a revolutionary technique for stopping excessive blood loss due to battlefield injuries. Generally, in these circumstances, a simple tourniquet is used which is mostly successful. Yet, an American-based research company has come up with an innovative method to fully avoid blood loss. The procedure involves the look-alike sponges with an injector syringe and tablets that inflate as the wound falls into touch. These sponges are actively covered by an agent called hemostatic, blood stopping. Obviously, in less than 15 seconds, the wound can be completely filled with inflated sponges, allowing hemostasis to kick in and stop the blood loss altogether. Number three is liquid armor. The liquid armor is perhaps the most sophisticated technology to date that MIT and the United States Army Research Laboratory, or ARL, are currently under review. The liquid shield consists of a synthetic fiber, Kevlar, immersed in a specific fluid that thickness. Under various conditions, certain forms of fluids behave differently. All tests to date show that it gets extremely hardened when a brute force is applied at a certain point of that Kevlar-soaked liquid. The fluid used for this is called non-Newtonian fluid, STF. Number two is DARPA's PCAS. Air and land units have to rely entirely on voice communications and base maps to conduct premeditated attacks under regular near-air support environments. The methodology is often imprecise and sluggish. This DARPA arrived with a genuinely innovative proposal to alter, PCAS. The primary objective of the PCAS, or Persistent Close Air Support, is to enable dismantled ground agents such as JTACs, Joint Terminal Attack Controllers, and combat crews to share real-time situational awareness and information on weapon systems. This would allow ground-based agents to simultaneously accurately identify multiple targets. Number one is XOS-2 Exskeleton. XOS-2, widely referred to as the Iron Man device, is a second-generation automation system that Raytheon designs for the U.S. Army. The corporation first officially revealed the Exskeleton's functionality in September 2010 at its testing laboratory in Salt Lake City, Utah. The wearable robotic suit increases the soldier's capacity for human strength, agility, and endurance inside it. The XOS-2 uses hydraulics with high pressure to allow the wearer to raise heavy items at a ratio of 17 to 1. Actual weight to perceived weight. It helps load to be removed regularly without fatigue or damage. This robotic suit can increase a human's strength, stamina, and agility to a certain level where he can be called a superhuman. 
The next generation XOS2 suit consists of much lighter material and consumes nearly half of the energy consumed by its predecessor XOS1 earlier. XOS2 operates with a mix of high-end controls and sensors. It features reinforced aluminum and steel that are essential for various tasks to be performed. It also uses high-pressure hydraulics to enable its user to lift nearly any heavy object at a stunning 17 to 1 ratio. This allows humans to lift heavy weights without any exhaustion or injury. Which gadget do you like the most? Comment down below and let us know.